They chanted, they shouted. Erdogan is a hero of democracy. Bringing the West German city of Cologne to a standstill. This is the opinion of tens of thousands of his party's supporters in the country. A rallying cry of confidence for the president's crackdown on dissent following a failed coup. But violence may erupt as groups also come out in force to oppose the massive demonstration and others to criticize Turkey's rights record, causing tensions with Germany since the coup attempt two weeks ago. Germany is not the only country risking raised tensions as Turkey continues to stamp down on army personnel it says may be linked to Fethullah Gulen, the man it blames for the coup attempt. The businessman currently resides in the United States and Turkey wants him extradited. Ankara is expected to make that request as American General Joseph Dunford heads to the capital after visiting Baghdad. Ankara has warned that ties will be affected if the U.S. refuses to deport him. Amid rising anti-American sentiment in Turkey, some 5,000 protesters took to the streets, marching to NATO's Inkrilik Air Base, chanting death to America and demanding the immediate expulsion of U.S. forces from the country. I know that the United States have a hand in this. I know that this is a play put on by the United States, Israel and the United Kingdom. That dishonest man, Fethullah Gulen, is their pawn. I know it like the back of my hand. Turkey has said it will shut down an air base near Ankara, as well as all military barracks used by rogue soldiers during the coup attempt. And on Sunday morning, thousands of Turkish troops were said to have surrounded it, following unconfirmed reports of another coup attempt in the making. Erdogan continues to crack down on all suspected opponents, announcing several changes to the military, including shutting down training academies and forcing future heads of army forces to report directly to the defense minister, Fikri Isik. Our armed forces will be much stronger with the latest decree we are preparing. Our forces commanders will report to the defense minister. Our forces commanders will be brought under the control of the minister, not the ministry. These are reforms critics say are aimed at giving Erdogan more control over the armed forces and intelligence and squashing their autonomy and independence that has defined modern Turkey since its founding.